All right, I'm going to do a very quick video here, hopefully quick, of how to configure Z leveling on the rail core to uh, ZO um, so that you have your, your measurements. I went over this a little bit in the, in the configuration guide, but, uh, and there's comments in the, uh, in the config G file, but um, I just want to show how to get, you know, how you actually get those measurements so that you have some, uh, some starting point here. So I'm going to power on my printer. Um, and so to start, uh, what you want to do is configure your Z probe. And I did a, a quick video on that just a minute ago, but I'll go through it again uh, very fast here. Um, you're going to, and I didn't grab a pencil. Um, really, I don't have a pencil. I'll be back in like 10 seconds here. Thrilling live stream video, I know. Okay, so um, the first thing you want to do is measure your, your Z probe offset and um, and set your uh, your uh, Z0 height. So, joys of live stream video. So, I'm just going to home X and Y here. You should, you know, stop at your in stop switches. And then I also home Z. Um, letting it move in Z. If if you haven't configured your Z probe yet, I would not just tell it, you know, home Z. I would go ahead and do this manually. Um, but since mine's already set up, I'm going to go ahead and let that that run. Um, I have double tap enabled, so it's going to tap twice here. There we go, I've set my Z. So the first thing you're gonna do, oh, it's tapping more than once because I have a sheet of paper on there. I'm genius. Might be the first time I've ever had it tap more than once. Should finish up on this round. Okay, there we go. So I'm sitting at the Z8.87. I'm going to move down 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to put the sheet of paper under here. And I'm going to jog down using the panel view. Uh, you can use the web interface as well until the piece of paper grabs. So right there we go, um, my, my paper is grabbing. So at this point, you can run the, uh, the probe point macro that I detailed, and I'll upload that into the config files. Um, if you run the probe point, it's going to set the zero point, Z0. It's going to move up five millimeters, and then it's going to start probing and, uh, and stop. When it stops, whatever the height is, like mine just stopped at 2.64, I'm going to write down 2.64 um, as my, my Z probe offset. So 2.64. And then I'm going to take my piece of paper, I'm going to put it under there, and I'm going to just jog down until I'm at Z0. So, on the two. So now I'm, I'm back at Z0, my paper is just grabbing. This is the same thing I did in that last video. I'm going to just mark, I'm going through the whole process here. I'm going to mark my nozzle. So all I'm doing is making some pencil marks on the paper so I can tell where my nozzle offset is. Just ballparking it. 
and I'm also going to make a mark where my Z probe is. And I'm going to hold that sheet of paper really good. I'm going to move up a half millimeter or so, and I'm going to move to the right, so plus X some distance. And then I'm just going to mark the nozzle at that location again. So trying not to get my hand in the way of the camera here. I just want to mark right close to the nozzle here. Okay. So I have a couple points here. If you look at my piece of paper, I've got my nozzle marks left and right, and I've got my Z probe mark uh, above that. I'm going to take a straight edge, handy dandy one, two, three block. I'm going to mark a line between those nozzle points, and that's my X axis. Okay? This does not have to be exact. So, what I'm trying to measure now, I'll move the camera up here, is I'm trying to measure the distance from that line to my Z probe offset. So, I just take my calipers. And it's 42.75 in my uh, config G on the G31 line. G31, is that it? Yeah, uh, wherever you set your uh, your Z probe offset, my Y offset is going to be 42.75. My Z or my X offset is only going to be about one. I could draw that out. It's it's going to be one two millimeters. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, you just want it pretty close. Um, the closer you get it, the, the more accurate it's going to be. So there's that. That's, that's the first step. Um, we now have a zero point on the bed. It might be out of level. Our, our height offset of 2.64 might be close, might be off. It depends on how level our bed is. So now what we have to figure out is what our Z leveling settings are. And so what we want to look at, I'm going to move up another five millimeters or so in Z just to clear the bed. Move up 10. I'm going to drop this piece of paper right here so I can take notes on it. What we want to measure, and, and this is critical for the Z leveling, um, is the pivot point. And, and the definition on the duet is the lead screw point um, to, to each of your three lead screws as an offset. The thing we change is we don't pivot on the lead screw. We couple the lead screw with the linear rail. So our pivot point is this bolt right here, these bolts, right? So it's where the bed connects to the yoke. So what we want to do is measure what the XY location, the true XY location of that point is. So all I do is take a piece of paper or, you know, whatever, and line it up with that, that screw, and then manually jog your hot end over. And I want to move to X0. I'm at X60, so I'm going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm at X zero now. Now I'm going to move in Y until my nozzle is right above that edge of the paper. So I'll put my webcam down here so you can see. Again, we're not going for perfection. We're going for close. So if I jog over in Y, um, you can't quite see the nozzle because of the fan, but you want to line the nozzle up with that. And you can even, you know, jog down a little bit to line it up. So I'll give you a side view here. Move the paper out of the way. You can see my nozzle is now right near that, that screw. And I'm just going to look on my, 
my panel do, and I'm at Y25. So I'm going to jot down for my first lead screw, Y25. So lead screw one, X something, Y25. Now for the X value, it's going to be a negative. So what you want to do is measure the distance from the nozzle tip right here, uh, the distance from the nozzle tip to the center of that screw. So I'm just going to use some calipers to do that. And again, does not have to be exact. So center of the screw to nozzle tip. Not easy to do while holding a webcam. I get 10.37. So on your number one point, right, 10.37. So first point. X 10.37, Y 25. Line up my paper with the second point or you know something as a reference. Move up five. And I'm gonna move Y back until the nozzle lines up with that piece of paper again. And pretty close. Move down a little bit here. So I am at Y227. So I'm going to assume X is about the same because I have my screws lined up. So for point 0.2, I'm going to do X. 10.37 Y227. My awesome handwriting. Okay, point three. Point three X should be. So point three is gonna be this guy over here, this last last. So I'm manually jogging. I went a little too far. Got to move my Y back about 10. And I'm being really rough in my calculations because it's for a YouTube video. My Y is... Sorry, I'm dialing in my last little dimension here. My Y is 125. Hey, that's where it's supposed to be. That's good. So I'm going to write Y, 120. Oh, I can't write with it. I'm uh, on the bed there. Um, I'll in there. 125. And my X reads currently 233 and so I will need to measure the offset from the nozzle just like that we'll call it 54 millimeters I'm at 233 so if I do 233 plus 54, 287, X287. Okay, so there you go. That's how you get your, your Z-leveling offsets. Now to, to use those then, I'm going to move that hot end to the other side so that I can use the bed. I don't have a table in here I can, I can use nicely. 
uh, to use those offsets in your configuration file, you want to find the line in config G. Uh, I can't remember the G code offhand, but it says, you know, this is where you configure your, your ZL offsets, your, your uh, lead screw offsets. What you want to do is the format is X, X, X. So it's going to be X 10.37 colon 10.37 colon 287 for mine and then the y same thing 25 on two, uh, 227 on 125 and those are the parameters you're going to put in for your lead screw offsets for the z level once you've done that you go edit your config G, reset, um, home your X and Y, and then you should have put in the, you know, I got 2.64 in your in your G31. That'll be pretty close, and you can run the Z level, and it should level and come pretty close to, to being level. At that point, I would go ahead and repeat the, the paper test, run the probe point macro, and reset that that uh, Z probe offset because that will change based on how level your bed is front to back since the probe is offset from your nozzle. Once you've done those steps, you should be good. Um, the only other thing I might might change is go back and look at these points and edit your your bed dot G. So you're probing as close to these points as you can for the three points in bed dot G. It's not critical, but when you probe closer to them, it tends to dial in a little quicker on the lead line. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, ask me any questions if you have any. Um, if anything's not clear, let me know. I can redo the video or add clarification in the comments. Hope you guys find this helpful. Thanks.